everyone, Jim Branscom here, back for another edition of the Cinematic Void Vlog. I'm still hanging out with my boy Kellen, and what's your podcast? I don't fuck it up again. <laughs> Kellen's Petty Talk Show. Make sure you check it out. It's on all major podcast platforms. Uh, we were out doing some other filming locations, and we just happened to be near a couple others that aren't related to what we were shooting, but fuck it, we're in the neighborhood, so we might as well stop by. I got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. Here is the sorority house for from the movie Night of the Creeps, directed by Fred Decker and starring Tom Atkins. Night of the Creeps. If you scream, you're dead. It's kind of ironic that this is a sorority house because this is actually on frat row on USC or near USC campus. And apparently it's for lease. So if you want to come here and lease the sorority house from Night of the Creeps, now's your chance. Come live on frat row at USC. Up the street from that sorority house, we are at another location from Night of the Creeps. This one was in the opening flashback. This again is a sorority house or was used as a sorority house in the movie. On the same street as the previous two locations. This is another location that was used for Night of the Creeps. This is mostly exterior where it's a frat house, sorority house. Well, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be in the movie, but it has been thoroughly TP'd for some reason because frat boys exist. I'm depressed. Will you cheer up? Come on, this is college life. Toilet paper in the trees, spring is in the air, a couple of bitchin' guys on the prowl for Major League Babes. And right across the street from the house that is TP'd is another location, I guess another quick exterior. It's a, was it Kellen? Beta, Beta Pledge, Orama? Yes, that's what the banner said. Yeah, so that's there. This Beta one, e Epsilon. Yeah, this one's changed a little bit more some of the other ones around this time. I guess they did some renovations. Yeah, it's slightly, it still looks like it. So this is another house from a movie that has the word night in the title, but it's not Night of the Creeps. It's actually Kevin Tenet's Night of the Demons. This the party's just begun. Night of the Demons. Rest assured, we've got something wonderful planned for you. This is actually pretty close to Fraternity Row where we were just at shooting the various uh, frat and sorority houses used in Night of the Creeps. It's kind of maybe a couple blocks away. This is actually the old man's house, the one that's like putting razor blades and like apples and stuff and then gets his comeuppance at the end. Night of Demons is a really fun Halloween movie and even kind of maybe on accident homage the John Carpenter's Halloween with its very own headshot. So right across the street from the old man's house is the house that Franny and Max step out of. This is all on USC or near USC. Sure, lots of people getting their higher education are now living in these historic old houses if you would. So as we were driving by, just for the sake of getting as many Night of the Demons locations, this Ralph's, which just got blocked here, is where the Hall House was from the movie. In every neighborhood, there is one house that adults whisper about and children cross the street to avoid. And our final location on this kind of random horror house little side side mission that we were on today is from Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. This is the house where the people under the stairs live under the stairs. And if you're looking to make your own movie, you too can make your own version of the people under the stairs. All you have to do is rent it. Or you can throw an event. You can throw a full house party. You can throw a house party like Night of the Demons since that house doesn't exist. You can just do it at the people under the stairs house. So that wraps up this Cinematic Void vlog. Thanks to Kellen for hanging out, driving us around, making sure. Fun. 
yeah, making sure we were properly hydrated. We had some Gatorade. You know, it's like 90 fucking degrees out here. I mean, I would like to be a people under the stairs because I'm sure it's nice and cool under there. Breezy. Breezy, yeah. All right, until next time, see you in the void. See you guys.